Hey guys, my name's Craig and this is Everest. Everest is a 2020 Ford Transit 250 high roof. Uh, this is the 148 wheelbase. Um, this is not the extended version. So we're gonna start our van tour on the outside of the van. We've got black Rhino wheels and Cooper Discover AT3 tires. Um, this is a two wheel drive van, but it does help it look cool and work a little better in snow and off road like right now. Um, We've got AMA slider windows right here. These have built-in bug screens, which are super nice um, for camping in the summer. If you wanna have the windows open, get that ventilation. Up on top, we've got a Fiamma F45 awning with a Flatline Vanco roof rack. Uh, this is the Low Pro roof rack from Flatline. Coming around to the rear, we've got um, flare space. Um, these bump outs are great for um, people that are tall like me so you can sleep up to you have six foot five basically um, so a person I'm six three and I fit great coming into the back of the van we've got our electrical cabinet this houses two 100 amp hour battleborne lithium batteries um, and then on the inside we've got all uh, Victron components with a Zentrex inverter master shutoff is here we've got an under bed light switch overhead light switch, 120 volt outlet that runs off of the inverter. Over here is our water box. This has a 21 gallon freshwater tank, an ISO, uh, ISO temp slim four hot water heater. It's an electric hot water heater. Uh, this is our fill, our outdoor shower, which is great for hosing off gear or taking an outdoor shower. We've got a, a, a magnetic curtain that pops up in the rear if you want to take a shower. This is our shower mixer, so you can turn on the hot water if you're using it. And probably one of the coolest features about this van is the Murphy bed. So I wanna show you guys how that works. Um, this mattress is a trifold mattress. Flips up like that, and then your mattress, your bed lifts right up and stows out of the way. So now you have all this walkthrough um, Space, and this gives you a whole another section of countertop space so our countertop runs all the way down which is awesome for prep or whatever so um, now let's go check out the inside all right guys so moving into the inside of the van um, before we step in there I've got to show you the outdoor table this is um, a Corian countertop and so we went ahead and used the Corian on the outside table as well it just folds down and you've got all this awesome space. You can set up some camp chairs, sit down your drinks, play cards, whatever. We've got an awning light right here, which clicks on on the outside of the van. It clicks up out of your way. We've got a little storage here, which is nice for like dirty flip-flops or something. Um, coming inside, we've got an Isotherm Cruise 85 fridge. This is the stainless version. It's the drawer version, which is super cool because you can access it from the inside or outside of the van. So. This is really nice. It's also got a wine chiller, which is pretty legit. And then there's a freezer up top and a little drink chiller up top as well, which is super nice. Um, moving inside, this van does seat four people and sleeps four people. So we've got the uh, Travois uh, seat in the rear um, and it's a seat bed that seats two people and folds into a bed. I'll show you that in a minute and you can sleep two kids down bottom or, or two adults that really like each other. All right guys, welcome to the inside of the van. So the first thing we wanna talk about is our kind of control panel up here. This is where all your switches are housed. You can reach them from the outside of the van if you're tall. Uh, we've got a Xantrex inverter. It's a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Um, then you've got your Victron BMV. This helps you monitor everything that's going on with the battery so that we know how much power is coming in or going out. We've got a water tank gauge right here it's currently empty because the van is winterized and then we've got our overhead um, cabinet lights and our overhead puck lights moving down to the kitchenette we've got a big uh, nice prep area here you got tons of room over here stainless steel faucet stainless steel sink with the sink cut out so you can actually prep on top of this which is super cool um, these are Corian solid surface countertops so um, they're really hard to scratch, they're heat resistant, they're, they're stain resistant, they're, they're awesome. Um, and um, 
with that, we have a portable uh, butane stove. That's how all of our rentals come. And then we've also, this van is the first van in our rental fleet to have a microwave, which is super cool. Um, definitely not necessary, definitely um, something a little nice, but uh, it's cool to have um, if you, you don't have time or you're trying to hit the trail quick and you just need some, um, some calories. So microwave's great. Um, I'm gonna move on to kind of the, what, what we call the comfort aspect uh, of the van. So we've got a 12 volt Dometic RTX 2000 AC. This is a 12 volt air conditioner and in eco mode it only draws 28 amps, which is very little power. Um, we can actually run it off the batteries for about six hours, which is super nice, um, especially in the south. Uh, this van also has a vent fan, a max air fan, or max fan, which is pretty, which is standard on all of our builds. Um, and an SBAR diesel or gas heater, actually, which you can't see, it's under the, under the passenger side seat base, but every van does come with um, the gas heater, which is thermostat control, the air conditioner, which is thermostat control, so you just set the temperature and go to bed, and the van will be perfect all night long. Speaking of going to bed, um, this is our two-person bed in the rear, which uh, we talked about a little bit earlier. This is the, the Travois uh, bed seat. So when you get ready for bedtime, all you have to do is pull this little latch and we'll do a how-to video on that. And this thing turns into kind of either a rear bed or a rear seat, which is super cool if you're just two people camping in the van. You can throw some pillows on this thing and turn it into a sofa. Um, this is a really cool place to lounge if the weather gets bad and um, you're stuck in the van for any amount of time. Um, we've got overhead cabinets. Um, we do closed and open storage uh, in strategic spots. So all of our cookware is up here in this van. Um, this is all kind of soft close overhead hinges, which are super nice with slam latches. We've got another closed one over there and then a big open section above the head, head of the bed. Um, this section, when the Murphy bed's down, you have access to USB ports to charge your devices while you sleep, so they're within arm's reach if they need to be. Um, and then we've also got reading lights and um, an overhead shelf up here uh, with blackout curtains, which is awesome. So when you get ready to go to bed at night or change, you can fold down the blackout curtains and then you have lots of extra storage up here for more kitchen supplies, stove, stuff like that. So uh, I think that concludes the, the tour of Everest. I appreciate you guys for hanging out this long and uh, for watching and hope you all have a great, great afternoon.